Hello everyone, my name is Hari Krishna. I'm studying CSC in UIT College. Today I'm going to say about quicksort, which is a sorting technique. In this video, I will learn about what is sorting technique and how many sorting techniques are there and one of the sorting techniques is sort. We will see in detail about quicksort and we will explain the process of quicksort. We can learn further details about quicksort see by seeing an example on quicksort. First of all, what is sorting technique? Sorting technique in data structures is a process of rearranging data elements in array or list in order to make it easier to search and retrieve. First of all, sorting can be done to a list of elements given by the user. Now, by applying sorting techniques, these elements can be placed in ascending or descending order. Basically, ascending order is most preferred. The purpose of doing sorting technique is to search an element and we can retrieve that element <coughs> by sorting that in data structures the complexity of searching for a particular item is reduced as the elements are in sorted order we can easily find a element required by the user so the complexity of searching is reduced if, otherwise if the elements are in insert unsorted order the time required for sorting is more or less. The time is not always accurate. So sorting is important. What are the sorting techniques? Some major sorting techniques are bubble sort, selection sort, insertion sort, quick sort, mid sort, and radix sort. Bubble sort, selection sort, insertion sort are used for small number of elements. Quicksort, Midsort and Radixort are used for large number of elements. In this video, we will try to learn more about Quicksort. What is Quicksort? Quicksort is a highly efficient sorting technique that divides a large array elements. See that we can provide large data array to the program. Quicksort is a sorting algorithm based on divide and conquer method. Quicksort picks an element as a pivot and partitions the given array around the picked pivot by placing the pivot in its correct position. How can we decide that the pivot is placed in its correct position? The elements left side of the pivot element must be less than the pivot element and the elements right side of the pivot element should be greater than the pivot element. Then we can say that the pivot element is placed in correct position. The process of quicksort consists of three parts, divide, conquer and combine. First of all, process of, of doing quicksort. The key process in quicksort is divide. In divide the target of the target of dividing process is to place the pivot element. Generally, the first index value is taken as the pivot element at its correct position in the sorted array. As we learned in the before, how to know pivot element is placed in correct position. If all smaller elements are left to the pivot element and greater elements are right to the pivot element, then it is set as the correct position of the pivot element. Partitions is done recursively on each side of the pivot after the pivot place in its correct position and this finally sorts the error. The next step is conquer. First, the pivot element is fixed. That is the first index value. Then the array is scanned from right side to left. If the scanned element is less than the scan pivot element, then both are swapped. Then in next iteration, the array is scanned from left to right. 
If the scanned element is greater than the pivot element, then both are swappable. Once if the pivot element reaches its position, then the elements on either side of the pivot elements are made into subdivisions. If there are no elements on any side of the pivot element, then leave it. Consider only one side of the list that has elements. This process continues until the individual lists are also placed in sorted order. Now combine. The third process is combine. The sublists that we divided in conquer process are sorted and and they are combined in the order how they are divided. Finally, if we combine all the sublists, we will obtain a sorted error of given elements. Now let us focus on an example on which sort. Consider an array with elements 111, 54, 21, 84, 2, 10, 53, 15. This is the representation of the error. Let us focus on the process. The first let's let us fix the pivot element. The first here the first index value is triple one triple one. Now the pivot is fixed and we have to scan from right to left. While scanning from right to left, the first element is 15. 15 is smaller than triple one. Now we have to swap both the elements. After swapping we will get this error. Here again the pivot element does not change but we have to scan from left to right. Now scanning from left to right we will get we have to swap a greater element with the pivot element. Here 15, 54, 21, 84, 2, 10, 10 are smaller elements but when we reach 153 it is greater than 11. Now we have to swap both. After swapping, we will get this error. Here the pivot element is placed in its correct position. As we can see, the elements before the pivot elements are less than the pivot and the element after the pivot element is greater than the pivot. Now it is divided into two sublists. Now we have to apply same quantum method. Let us take sublist one. The sublist one, the pivot element is 15, and now we have to scan from right to left. Scanning from right to left, we observe that 10 is smaller than 15. We have to swap both, and this is the resultant array. Now we have to scan from left to right, and uh, we, if we reach 54, 54 is greater than 15. So we have to swap 54 and 15. We will get this error. And next, we have to scan from right side to left. From scanning from right to left, we observe that 2, the second element 2 is less than 15. So we have to swap both 15 and 2. We will get this array. We have to scan from left to right in this array. We will get this resultant array as this. Here we can observe that 10, 2 less than 15 on the left side of the pivot element and 84, 21, 54 are greater than 15 and on right side of the 15. Clearly, we can observe that the pivot element is placed in its correct position. Now it is divided into sublists again. Consider sublist one. Sublist one contains only two elements, 10 comma. Here the pivot element is first index value and we have to scan from right side. If you scan from the right side, the second, el the first element, two is less than 10. Now we have to Swap both. If you swap both, we will get this. And the pivot element, the left side of the pivot element, there is only one element 2. It is less than 10. So the pivot element is placed in its correct position. So it is in sorted order. Next, check sublist 1. Sublist 1 consists of three elements 84, 21, 54. 84 is the pivot element. Scan from right side to left. Now 854 is less than 84. So we have to swap both 84 and 54. After swapping, we will get this. Here, the elements before the 84, 54 and 21 are less than 84. So the pivot element is placed in correct order, correct place. Now we have to take this as the sublist and apply conquer method to this also.
see this 54 and 21 here 54 is the private element you have to scan from right to left after scanning we will get that 21 is less than 54 so we have to swap both after swapping we will get 21 and 54 54 in the left side of the 54 there is one element 21 which is less than 54 so the pivot element is placed in its correct place so there is no partitions after this we have to combine each sublist in order as they are divided finally if we combine all the sublists in order they are divided we will obtain the array like this 2 10 15 21 54 84 triple 1 53 we can see that this is a sorted array and by observing by applying quick sort we sorted the given array so we can say that the quick sort is easiest and easiest method of sorting thank you